All right, guys. So yes, I did get a new webcam because now I'm using the webcam that we get from school, and this will be kind of this way until number one, my green screen stands come in, and number two, until I have to give this computer back because it just loaned for me from my school. So yeah, that means more high quality, better audio because I finally found a stand for this mic because I have a shock mount, but. Here. Yeah. Alright. And yeah. Um so get used to this until May. Alright. Now that we've covered everything, let's get into my review for the nineteen ninety four film Forrest Gump. Now Forrest Gump stars Tom Hanks, Robin Wright, Sally Field. And the basic plot of Forrest Gump is it details the adventures of this man, Forrest Gump, being played by Tom Hanks. And although it just seems like kind of random adventures, it tells a story, and a very compelling story at that one. Also, he has a love interest, Jenny, being played by Robin Wright. And then he has a very good relationship with his mother, being played by Sally Field. And also, I should mention that he has a very, very low... IQ, so that's a big point of the film. Now, I was really looking forward to this movie. I mean, I've heard amazing things about it. This is number 13 on the top 250 films of all time. It won six Oscars. I mean, let me let me see what this won for in the Oscars. It won for Best Effects, Best Visual Effects, Best Editing, Best Writing, Best Director, Best Actor, and Best Picture. Now, arguably, the Shaw I mean, I mean, in my opinion, The Shawshank is much better, and that came out this year. But still, this is honestly what it's in my top ten favorite movies of all time. I absolutely loved Forrest Gump. First of all, the acting by everyone is phenomenal. I mean, Tom Hanks gives a great. Honestly, this is probably the best performance I've ever seen. I not maybe not the best, but a hundred percent the most memorable performance I've ever seen from a person in a movie. I'm never gonna forget the character of Forrest Gump, all the journeys he goes through, all the trials and tribulations that his character goes through, everything, the way he talks, just nothing will be forgotten about that character. Uh Sally Field in the movie, she plays his mom. She does a very good job. I mean, the thing that happens to her character, which I'll go into when I get into spoiler territory for this movie. That was definitely something I didn't see coming. Um, overall, just she was the perfect casting choice because the the mother and son dynamic between the two, Sally Field and Tom Hanks, works wonderfully in this movie. And now we have the relationship, Jenny and Forrest. I almost said Tom, but yeah. Jenny and Forrest being played by Tom Hanks and Robin Wright. And this is done to a freaking T. I mean, I've never seen a more, like, compelling romance story in a movie. The way their relationship is told is very good. You don't really see too much of them together. But when they do have those moments that they are together, they are very unique moments and certainly memorable moments. I mean, I mean... When they're writing letters back, this isn't a spoiler, by the way, but when they're writing letters to each other, it's just like, you're just sitting there watching, you're like, oh, I hope she's going to send a letter back, oh, I hope he's going to, like, talk to her soon, like, in person. And overall, it's just a phenomenal story, done masterfully, and what happens to her character, I also, even though I knew it going into the movie, I certainly still absolutely love the hell out of this, and I definitely think that it was done very well. I mean, it, it was good. I'll get into what she what happened in the spoilers, but yeah, she did a very good job in this role. Um, Robert Jemeckis directs it, and you can tell from the opening shot of this movie that this is going to be one of the greatest directed movies of all time. I mean, the directing in this movie, the opening shot is like a feather, starts out like high in the sky, then it goes all the way to Forrest, but he picks it up, and that is the first time you ever meet Forrest Gump, and it's done really well, because it's just a long shot, and you know what, that feather might be CGI, but you know what, I didn't think so, so 
props to whoever did the visuals. I mean, obviously, they did a very good job. I mean, it won Best Visual Effect. So, that was really good. Also, this movie is, oh my god, this movie is hilarious. I mean, it has a lot of moments of comedy. There's this one moment in particular where Tom Hanks is talking about shrimp when he's in the war with his friend Bubba. And, I mean, even though, I mean, even though it might seem pointless at first, what leads on for the rest of that, like how that comes into play later in the movie, is also really good. Not to mention, like I said, it's very funny, and it's also done really well. I really like that. All the other comedy falls perfectly in this movie. I mean, Forrest's character has some lines that are amazing. I really love them. Also, you can, like, get inside his mind. I mean, he is not that smart of a guy. But one of the, my favorite quotes from this movie now is when he is saying to everyone who called him stupid, he says, stupid is as stupid does. And that, that kind of, that's really true, actually. And I'm glad that he actually has the mental capacity to actually say that. And you know what? His character also has some amazing lines to say that are very witty, very comical, romantic at some moments, and overall just very quirky and an enjoyable character. Um, the romance in the movie also really works. I like the dynamic between the two, like I said earlier. Then the drama element of this movie. What? I didn't... What? This movie has some of the most compelling drama I've seen in a classic that I've reviewed on here. Probably the most compelling drama I've seen in a classic that I've reviewed here. But there, there are some things that happen in the movie towards like the middle way slash the end. And I was like, I felt like just crying. I was very close to crying, but I, I didn't. But it still, it strikes you very emotionally. I mean, it, the writing is phenomenal. I, I'm not sure who wrote. Eric Roth wrote this, and he, in the past he's written. What has he written? He. This is like the only like huge, huge movie besides Munich and um, Curious Case and Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. Which, by the way, just a sign up for that movie. Um, a lot of people hate it, but you know what? I actually really like it. So, yeah, if you guys were wondering, you probably won't weren't, but. Yeah, I really like that movie. But anyways, the movie is written amazingly. The pacing for the movie is also really, really good. This movie is like nearly two and a half hours, and it goes by so fast because you're on this journey with Forrest the entire time, and you are laughing along with him. You're feeling whatever emotion he's feeling, and overall, it's just great. There's a lot of scenes to remember. To remember. I don't know why I said it, but... um. When he meets the president, that's really funny. When he is doing the run for forever, that's funny. And by the way, these are not not spoilers on the movie. These are just situate. These are just like the adventures. And by like by the way, you probably should have seen this movie by now. But it, that's done really well. Um, what else did we do? Yeah. Um, and I love the way the story is told. I mean. He is sitting on a... Okay, you know what? Now... Well, no, this isn't really a spoiler. But uh, the, when he's sitting on the bench and he's just detailing all these stories to everyone that just sits by him, it's done really well. And eventually when you find out what he, why he's sitting on that bench, it is a really good payoff and it does fit into the story quite nicely. So, overall, I'm going to give Forrest Gump a 5 out of 5. I'm A+. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Definitely into the top. I mean, currently... I'm making a top 100 list, and I only have 46 movies in there, but this is number 6, and I'm pretty sure by the end of when I, like, see 54 more movies that are better than this, or that are, like, worthy of being in a 100 list, I'm pretty sure this will end up in being my top 10, and that's, that's a long shot, but still, I definitely do believe that. So, yeah, now I'm gonna get into spoiler territory for this movie, if you haven't seen Forrest Gump. Check it out. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. So if you have Netflix now, you can just watch it. So I'm just going to give you guys five seconds to leave. 
All right, so if you're still here, then that means that you haven't left. So let's continue on. Um, like I was saying, the drama in the movie works really, really well. When his mom and Jenny, when they both die, although I saw one of them coming, it was, it was like, it struck me. It really, it really did strike me like right here. And I was like, no, this can't be happening. Because from the beginning of the movie, you guys know that we see him and Jenny. She was like the first guy that, or she was like the first person besides Forrest's like parents that Forrest has ever talked to. And he did he did a great job with that. Um, when he's running away from the car, how his uh, the braces on his legs fall off. That's also really cool. Um, when Lieutenant Dan joins him on the shrimping boat, that was also really well done. I mean, at first he was kind of like, being a little obnoxious, and this isn't a flaw, but he's being like a little obnoxious to Forrest, and then eventually as the story progresses with those two, you see that his character really does care about Forrest, and he really does love him, so that was really well done. When Jenny and Forrest get married, I also really enjoyed that. I was having a great time with that scene, how Lieutenant Dan shows up with his, I believe, not his fiance, that was his wife. So when he shows up with her, I thought that was also really... Just everything about this movie was done to a T. It was very excellent. It was very well executed. Um, when when we find out that Forrest has a kid, in that moment, I was just like, I was I was laying on my bed. I was like, what? Like I was so surprised by this. And you know what? It, it it's amazing. Because I did not see that coming. When she was like, "Yeah, I named it after I named him after his father," I was like, "Wait, wait, rewind. What'd you say?" And yes, I heard correctly. And I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is phenomenal." And overall, I mean, everything about this movie is just well done. I mean, what more can I say? This is one of the best movies of all time. If you don't take it from me, take it from IMDb. If you don't take it from IMDb, take it from the AFI list because I'm not sure where this is on the AFI list. Let me check really fast. But yeah, I'll, most of the lists that say like some of the greatest movies of all time, this is on there for a lot of them, a vast majority of them, I'd say. So let me just check where this movie is located. All right, um, Forrest Gump on the list is number 76 out of 100 of the greatest films of all time. And that might not seem too good, but think about how many movies there are in the world. It, this made the 76 best of all time. So I'll just let that sink in. All right, guys, so I'm just going to wrap up the review right now. I, I'm just going to, you know, I'm finishing it. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. 5 out of 5. A+. Plus. I absolutely adore this movie. It, I will never forget watching this. It, it was phenomenal. So yeah, guys. That is my review for Forrest Gump. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The next review will be for Straight Outta Compton. And then I might see A Trip to the Moon tonight. And then just like do a quick review of that since it's a short film. But yeah, until my next review, I'm running this full one. I will see you all later.